the biggest raise ever for Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, and VA beneficiaries. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I want to address something I've seen showing up a lot lately over the last few days and the last few weeks in regards to the biggest raise ever for Social Security. There's a lot going on right now in regards to Social Security. There's a lot of bills and packages, proposals and amendments, reform to these very important benefits. There's a lot of pieces of information floating around out there right now. And I want to address this because is it really true the biggest raise for Social Security ever in the history of the program is actually going to be happening? Well, that's what I want to discuss here in the video. So let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. I am your one and only daily advocate. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so. And I'll continue to be here for you right by your side as that's my dedication and that's my commitment to you and everybody right here in this community. I'm doing all the research, watching all these announcements, hitting the headlines each and every day, and breaking it down for you in these short videos, as I truly want to help you out, because I completely understand money is very tight right now for the vast majority of fixed income and low income beneficiaries. Therefore, I want to point out anything in regards to money, benefits, raises to benefits, programs, stimulus, or anything else out there you can possibly grab and or take advantage of. I want to be here for you in any way that I possibly can be, which is also exactly why I'm doing all of these Amazon giveaways. I'm doing cash drops and all kinds of things, thousands and thousands of dollars going out the door on this channel right here every single month and honestly, every single week even. So again, subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos going forward. You never know when I might drop some more cash in a cash drop, obviously. <laughs> anyway, hope you're doing well. Please subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about the biggest raise ever for Social Security. Well, let's actually talk about that for a minute. So here's the thing. Ever since the Social Security Administration announced the the cost of living adjustment a few weeks ago in regards to the 2023 raise. I've been seeing a ton of headlines. Literally, there are a dime a dozen out there right now when it comes down to Social Security benefit raises. One that I continue to see coming up time and time again, and I've even seen other people talking about this, is a historic raise to Social Security and the biggest one ever. Is that true? I'm going to tell you this much. No, it's actually not true. I want to talk you through the details about this because in regards to what the Social Security Administration has announced, that is not a the biggest raise in the history of the program. I want to talk you through the details about this because I want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. And like I've said before, I watch all this stuff very closely. Literally, I am doing research all day, every single day, seven days a week. If you don't believe me, ask my wife. I have a device in my hand, literally from the time that I wake up in the morning, 4.15 every day until I go to bed around 11.30 every single night. I'm always looking at stuff. I've always got some kind of device in my face doing research trying to find all this information to bring to you in these videos. But anyway, I wanna talk through some of the details about this. So as we know, each and every year, the Social Security Administration comes out and they announce the annual cost of living adjustment, the most anticipated number for fixed income beneficiaries, especially this year when we knew it was going to be big. And this year, it actually was big. In fact, the fourth largest raise in the history of Social Security. Now, again, this is the fourth largest raise after 1975. I wanna be real with you. Uh, prior to 1975, I did not go back that far in history, so I'm not really sure what happened prior to 1975. But since uh, 1975, the cost of living adjustments have all been pegged to inflation versus what Congress wants to do that day, right? They all flip a coin and say, well, it's heads. That means it should be about this percentage. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so prior to 1975, that's what actually happened is Congress was the one who determined what the COLA was gonna, going to be. I can't even imagine how much of a mess that was. But maybe, who knows? Maybe Congress was a, a little bit more organized back then compared to what they are today. Not really sure. I wasn't around in 1975. But I do want to talk about the details of this. And I also want to point something else to you because I've been observing something very interesting as I've looked back in history on all the COLA raises over the last 
what is that even, 55, 57 years? I didn't even do the math. I think that's right, 57 years since 1975. So let me walk through this, uh, these details really quickly here, and then I wanna talk about something that I find very interesting and could be pointing toward another massive raise to monthly benefits. So let me uh, talk about this. So all of the raises throughout the course since 1975 until now have been basically below uh, about 8.7%. However, in 1979, there was a 9.9% raise. In 1980, 14.3%, and in 1981, 122 From 1981 until now, we have not seen anything even close to 8.7%. So this, uh, this raise that we're going to be getting, the 8.7%, is the biggest that we've seen since 1981, okay? So 40, by the time it goes into effect, 42 years ago was the last time we saw a raise of this size. Now, here's what's something that's interesting. Now, obviously, I'm going to be real with you. I was born in the mid 80s. So, um, you know, I wasn't around in the, the early 80s and uh, the late 70s. So I don't really know what it was like back then. So I need to rely on the history books. Right. And I like to read on this stuff because I want to bring you the honest, accurate, reliable and transparent information every single day in my videos, which is what I've said all the time. But anyway, as I look back in history, here's what's interesting about it. During the period of time in the late 70s and early 80s, it was a very high inflationary time. Obviously, we can see that with the COLA raises that were approved, right? Because of, um, obviously, it's pegged off of inflation. And therefore, we can see 1979, 9.9%, 1980, 14.3%, and 1981, 11.2%. Clearly, inflation was very high. Now, here's the interesting point that I want to uh, bring to your attention. Right now, that we're going through is also a very high inflationary time. Here's what's interesting. 1979, 9.9%. .9%, 2023, 8.7%. So remember, the year after, 1980, 14.3%. Do we maybe want to guess what uh, 2024 is going to be? If we continue at the same trajectory that we're moving, just like we did in the late 70s and early 80s, that would be suggesting that 2024 may possibly be even bigger than the 8.7%. Now, here's what's also interesting about this. We already know, based on everything that we've been looking at, and if you've been watching the videos here on the channel for a while now, I've been seeing this for a very long time. The Federal Reserve thinks they're going to bring inflation down to their 2% range relatively soon. Sorry, no, they're not. I've been doing research on this stuff. I'm no uh, Harvard economist. If Is that even a thing? Harvard economist? I don't even know. But the fact of the matter is I'm not an economist, but I do understand this stuff very, very well. And even if the Federal Reserve uh, aggressively raises interest rates and continues with their interest rate policy, it's going to take them at least one year, aggressive, aggressive, hard times to bring uh, inflation down to 2%. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not happening. There's no way it's happening. This economy would be in the sewer flushed 17 times over. You know what I mean? It's just not gonna happen, okay? It's, there's no way this inflation is going down to 2% anytime soon, okay? The trajectory that we're looking at right now is actually showing that this inflation is still rising, which could show that 2023 may be another very high inflationary time. Therefore, the cola raise that may be coming for 2024, and again, I know this is a long time out in the future. I'm just kind of showing you what I'm looking at with uh, with history and what is currently going on right now with in uh, sorry with inflation. As a result of this, we could see very, very high inflation and even higher inflation in 2023 than what we're dealing with right now, possibly suggesting an even higher COLA raise in 2024 than the 8.7% that we're looking at right now for 2023. Does all this kind of make sense? Just like in, in line with what we saw back in the late 70s and early 80s. Again, 1979, 9.9%. .9%. 1980 was the big one, right? The big head honcho, the, the big kahuna, the uh, the head chief, what do you call it? I don't really know what else, <laughs> what other funny analogies I can say right now. <laughs> but my point is 1980 was the big one. That was the big one, right? 14.3%. So maybe 2023 is still going up the mountain, right? So picture a mountain range or maybe just one mountain, I guess you could say. You're picturing the mountain. Maybe the 8.7% is still moving its way up the mountain and maybe 2024 is going to be the summit, the apex, the peak, the top right? And that could be even significantly higher than the 8.7%.
based on what this inflation is doing and looking back in history, inflation does not go down in just one year time. There's just no way. It just doesn't happen that way. Even though we continue to hear from all these politicians and you know all these people out there saying, oh yeah, it'll be down in no time. Don't worry about it. Just just relax, everybody. It'll be down. The party will you know rock on. Everything's all good. That's not how this inflation goes. You know what I mean? It takes a very long time to bring this down. And we can see that back in the late 70s and early 80s. It took three years to bring it down. The reason I know that is because we can see with the CPI, or sorry, with the um, uh, with the cost of living adjustment, with the COLA raises, that three years consecutively, they were basically 10% or more. I mean, obviously 9.9%, but that's basically, you know, pushing 10%. Uh, for three years in a row. That's a lot, right? So it's a very high inflationary time. And what a lot of economists and everybody are saying right now is the time that we're looking at right now is very similar to what we saw during that same time, late 70s, early 80s. Anyway, I'm just kind of looking at some things right here, looking at some trends based on everything that I see, based on uh, everything that I understand about this. This is going to be a long road. We are not out of the woods yet, and we're not going to be out of the woods for a long time. We're lost, and we don't have a compass. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which, by the way, yeah, one quick side note. When I was younger, like really young, um, we used to go camping up like, you know, out in the mid literally middle of nowhere. Like we were like 20 miles from any civilization and I was super young and we always had a compass on us. So when I was very young, I learned how to read a compass because my dad would always say, before you walk into the woods off the trail, make sure you look at your compass so you know which way to go in case you get lost. So super good note. Um, I mean, seriously, because if we would have got lost in that woods, you wouldn't be seeing me right now. <laughs> I'd probably be bear food. I mean, let's be real right now, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, super interesting note though, but seriously, we gotta pay attention to this stuff. Just like walking along the trail out in the middle of nowhere, look at your compass before you wander off into the woods because if you get turned around, sorry, it might be bad luck. You know what I mean? So anyway, I just wanna bring this to your attention because I've been seeing this in the headlines a lot lately and um, thought it was kind of interesting. Wanna bring it to your attention, but the COLA raise that we're looking at for 2023 is not a record raise. It is not the biggest raise in the history of the world. It's close. It's the fourth biggest in the history of social security, but it's not the biggest. So anyway, just wanna bring that to your attention. So I hope you enjoyed this and gave a little uh, better glimpse into what I'm looking at, the trends that I'm looking at, my understanding of this whole situation with inflation, economics, and of course, wandering around the woods with a compass at the age of six. Anyway, hope this one helps you out. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Thanks again for watching this. I truly do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share this video with your friends, family, social media and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, please have a nice day, have a good one, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.